audio is good. I need to have... Okay, wait a sec. Did I, did I press the button? Why isn't it... Why isn't it starting? Huh? Am I, am I going crazy? My link isn't opening. Content, live. It should be up. Why isn't it up? I, I'm streaming. Huh? What's going on? Okay, how's this audio? Okay, that sounds that sounds decent. It's all right. Uh, let me go on. Do not disturb. I'm gonna grab the link for the thing. Give me a sec. Uh. At event ping streaming lighting tutorial and gaming I'm gonna also gonna also gonna post this on Twitter just in case and that should be good okay hello Rose Ren I'm just uh, very bored, so this stream's kind of out of nowhere. Okay. I'm gonna just start yapping, because I want to get this part out of the out of the way, so that people can just click on this VOD later on and just see my process for lighting. So first thing you really want to do is set your scene. So I'm gonna just import my character uh, basic avatar and I'm gonna create a basic like a actually let me just grab a room from the toolbox um, hmm let's see actually let, let we, we can spend a little while making a fun little room I'm not in too much of a rush to get this done. There we go. Fun little box for my character. First thing you're going to want to do is definitely change the lighting technology to future. Because that um, affects how the lighting works in your game. The, is my screen sharing? It's not, it's not sharing the, okay, hold up. <laughs> uh, would window capture work? I think window capture would work. Uh, hold up. That, that doesn't seem right. That's not right. Mm. Why isn't it? Okay, maybe display capture. Okay, yeah, I'll just use display capture. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna go to lighting. You wanna change technology to future. Future works best for more cinematic stuff. Um, I'm not really sure how all the lighting works. I know compatibility gives it this sort of simple but very kind of exposed look. It, it works for some situations. Foxel, I, I, I don't know. But Future has the biggest um, change on lighting and looks the best. Um, and all these, I'd suggest doing this like after setting up your actual lights. In the, in the scene. So, first thing I would do is create motivated lighting. 
And what motivating lighting is that we need an actual light source in the fl in the frame. So, oh, hello, hello, Rust. Uh, doing a basic lighting tutorial, and then I'm gonna play a stupid video game. So yeah, motivated lighting basically means that you have a light source in the scene and that will make that will have a huge impact on how the lighting works so we have this lamp here let me um create a camera real quick and just gonna boom also gonna put a table for this lamp uh, like a desk cabinet yeah make it look a little more nice so motivated lighting is pretty simple you have your light source in the scene and then you have uh, like a part that actually produces the light. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna enable shadows, makes it look a little better. And then it's gonna be a warm light because the lamp is like a orange. And since this is a like a, a lamp that's facing 360, I also have to create a light in the back. All right, so this is this is the motivated lighting. We could, if we were to remove this lamp and the lighting will still be there, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't work. But if the lamp is in the scene, then the lighting makes sense. And so like, if we had this, this scene where it's, it makes sense, the lamp is off screen okay <laughs> this explanation sucks yeah so the point of an okay so establishing shots are here to um tell the viewer where everything is in the scene so it tells us it tells the viewer that there's a lamp to the side of this character and with that establishing shot we can then have a shot that's like up close to the character and there's no lamp and it'll make sense because we saw the lamp before. I sound like an insane person rambling like this, but it makes sense in my head. Yeah, so motivating lighting, that's, that's the first thing. Have your light source visible in the frame and that's a good thing. And uh, another thing would be Hmm, what else? I can do bounce light, yeah. So this is our main light source. I'm gonna make it a little brighter. So I'm gonna, since he's really close to it. Oh, that's too bright. Oh, <laughs> okay. So Roblox doesn't do this, but light bounces off of objects. So the light would reach this wall. Let me increase the range of the light. Yeah, so the light reaches this wall and realistically, the light would touch the wall and then bounce back. So to make it more realistic, we're going to add another light source and it's gonna be from the wall, but it's going to be less bright and it's not gonna have as much range to it to make it realistic. And I'm also gonna desaturate it a bit because it's coming from the wall, so it's having some of that wall color. And already it's looking more realistic without the bounce light, with the bounce light, it's already better. <laughs> and now another technique in lighting to make things look overall better, it doesn't make sense, but adding a rim light to your character uh, makes a huge difference on how the overall shot looks. So let me use a spotlight because spotlights are a little easier to do this with. 
and so I'm going to have a spotlight from above hit the back of my character so that I'm also going to give it the same uh, warmth that this lamp has. I think I want to have it. I guess this is um, realistically this rim light makes sense because this is a tight room, so a bounce light would be coming from the top. But uh, hmm. Okay, so I'll just say that's another bounce light, but for the rim light, it creates this sort of outline effect that's really nice. No, I can't seem to get. Okay, you know what? That's fine. So we're setting up all our lights. So we have our main light source, and then we have a bunch of bounce light sources. So light that comes from the walls because the light is bouncing from the lamp. And another lighting technique it has to do with lighting temperature. Um, so this, so I like to include lights that don't really belong in the scene, but are sort of just there to add more flavor to the scene. So the light is a very uh, peachish yellow, which goes pretty well with the color blue. So I'm going to add like a very dim blue to the scene. Actually, I might make this more saturated. Uh, and I'm going to also make these more saturated as well because mm, they're kind of lame colors. Yeah, make this an orange so that the blue also want this to not reach that far. There we go. And it's looking good already. And at this point, we've set up all the main lights. Everything is a, uh, okay, hold up. Let me add some of the blue to the background. Cause the background lights, like the how the how lit the background is also affects your character because your background can be the motivated lighting for the character. So if it's lit blue here in the background, I can add a blue rim light to my character and it will make sense because they can see that the background is blue, so my character should be a bit blue too. There we go. Okay, now at this point we can start messing around with the lighting settings. So, give me a sec. I'll do a brief explanation of all this. Ambient refers to the color of the shadows. So, I, I usually like to make it a, like a color that goes against the lighting, so like a blue. If the lights are all warm, I like to make it cold. Or, or, also, uh, honestly, ambience has to do with the, the scene. So, if we were in a red box, let me, I can just duplicate this. If we were in a red box, I would turn the ambient color to red because, uh, the shadows are red and you know, yeah. So ambient really, I would just make the ambient. It, it depends. It really depends. You can either go with a color that complements your lighting or go with a color that uh, matches the setting. So if you have gray walls, it makes sense for the ambient to be gray. If you're in a uh, grass patch, it makes sense for the ambient to be green because the ambient, uh, I, uh, okay. I'm so bad at explaining things. So I'm just going to make the color of the ambient blue. Oh, uh, actually. Mm. 
I think I like red more actually. So yeah, just play around with lighting settings. It's all a bunch of experimentation. Color shift bottom. I'm not too sure what color shift bottom does. <laughs> I, I have no idea, but I do know what color shift top does. Color shift top changes the color of the sun and like the sunlight. So for outdoor scenarios, you definitely want to play around with this um, setting. But since this is all indoors, I don't have to worry about that too much. Um, environment diffuse and environment speculation. I'm pretty sure that all has to do with the skybox. So it adds a bit of the sky to the shadows. So we have a blue sky. So it's going to add some blue to the shadows for the fuse and for specular it's going to like add a sort of uh i don't know yeah but i know that oh um huh what is the difference between these two i know there's a difference but what is it but honestly for these two i like to keep them in the middle uh or sort of below middle it's a good that's a good amount for me Outdoor ambient has to do with the, oh, hello, 43. Don't call me Doki. Don't, don't do that. Outdoor ambient has to do with the outdoor shadows and doesn't affect the indoor shadows too much. So the outdoors, they can be like a, I don't know, purple. And then I'd make the inside ambient like a green. Uh... Huh. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, that, that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know why it's kind of mixing in this. Maybe because I don't have, like, maybe I need like another wall or these walls aren't thick enough, like thick enough to uh, be considered indoors. So give me a sec to do that. Let me make this like an enclosed room. And then, okay, so now if I were to make my shadows in here red and make the outdoor shadows like a blue, it's okay. It, it still mixes a bit, but there's a big difference between the shadows inside and the shadows um, outside. So yeah. Since this is an indoor scene, I won't mess with outdoor ambient a bit. I might just make it dark and have the indoor ambient be orange since that's what I care about right now. Shadow softness, um, it's a very small difference and it's really hard to tell. So it, I don't think it matters too much. Um, exposure, this is, a, this is a big one. So depending on how lit your scene is, you just wanna like, just mess with this, see what feels comfortable to the eye. Hello, Soli, <laughs> thank you. So, uh, that feels good. And now we're gonna add some more, some more um, lighting stuff. So the first thing I would add for lighting is color correction. Color correction is very nice. What is the doc jump scare? Um, brightness, it's pretty much exposure, but like sort of adds like a white uh, overlay to it. I don't like messing with brightness too much. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep it at zero. Contrast is a huge one. It like makes things more sharp, but you don't want to mess with this too much because too much contrast, it looks good, but like... It, too much is uh, can like really take away from the lighting. Saturation, another fun one, but you don't want to honestly with these, with all these controls, you don't want to push them too much because you don't want to take away from the original piece. Tint color, I don't really mess with this too much. I like uh, just a sort of uh, a subtle tint, uh, a subtle. Okay, whatever. Small, small adjustment to blend everything together. 
and ju with just with that, it's already big big difference in the lighting. Um, another thing I'd like to add is bloom. So bloom refers to this sort of area where there's a lot of light, and the light is so intense that it has this glow effect. Now, bloom does give that uh, cinematic feel that a lot of people like, but I don't like having too much bloom. I just like having a little bit so that it's very subtle. And you thought your strong suit in animations were the lighting? Your lighting's pretty good. It's hard to get like really good lighting. I, there's still some stuff I need to improve on. This lighting isn't the best. Uh, threshold, um, forgotten what threshold does. <laughs> so I'm not gonna mess with that. Size, pretty. They're all per, all these controls to me seem pretty much are pretty much the same. So I just sort of mess with one of them. <laughs> uh, depth of field. Depth of field is another good one. So let me add something to the background, like a uh, cabinet. Uh, here we go. Let me, let me make this room longer. Let me make this room longer. Because depth of field really does well with big scenes. Actually, mm. huh? Right, too too long of a room. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'll bring it back to small room. Hello, common brother. Thank you for enjoying the tutorial. It's my first time doing one of these kind of like exp explanation kind of things. Actually, I've done it before on stream. I think I did it with uh, one of the Pokemon animations. Let me... Poster, let's add a poster. That'll be pretty good. Uh, here we go. move this poster to the right a bit. So for most scenes, you don't want the background to, <laughs> you're actively taking notes. So depth of field is really good for creating separation from the foreground and the background. Uh, I do need to make this a little farther away. Which one? Which lights are the ones lighting up the background? I might have to make a new scene just for explaining depth of field because this is a very, a very tight shot. So I'll, I'll come back to depth of field later. Um, what else, what else, what else could we add? Hmm. No, I think this is it for lighting. This is the extent. <laughs> the capybara poster. Yeah, I'm gonna make another scene that's gonna be outside. Um, first, I'm going to make a skybox. Like, uh, let's get peaceful morning sky. Uh, let me get a scene. The king winter. No, that's that's way too big. Crossroads. Death of Field works really well for big chaotic scenes with, that are very, that are in very wide open spaces. Hello, Mango. <laughs> uh, okay. Now let me move Doc over here. I think I want to have the sun out a bit for natural lighting. Oh yeah, I just remembered um, uh, 
Okay, I'll, I'll explain that in a bit. So, let me set up the scene. So here we have a very wide open scene. And I'm going to briefly explain depth of field. Now, I'm not the great... Uh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I'm not the greatest at depth of field. I don't really know how all the controls work too well. But, but, far intensity, I usually like to reduce this all the way down to zero. I like to increase the in focus radius until it includes my, my target. So my subject is my avatar. I'm going to scroll until this is clear. And I don't like to blur the background too much, so I'm going to lower far intensity of... Uh, that didn't do much. There you go. I'm going to increase focus distance a bit so that it has a... So that the stuff in the midground is a bit not as blurry. And so just by adding depth of field, we've created a nice separation from our subject and the background which is really good. You, you want to do this for big scenes. Not too much for small scenes, unless you really want to draw attention to the subject in that scene. Like, I don't know, it's a close-up shot of a guy holding a, their phone. Then you would like, and you really want the viewer to notice that they're holding a phone. So you would just blur out the background completely. That, that's what I can, that's the only situations I can really think of you using intense blur depth of field. Alrighty, I'm dipping. I'm glad to see you alive for once. Alright, see a mango. <laughs> yeah. So depth of field is a huge game changer if you want that uh, cinematic look. And there's one last thing I need to talk about when it comes to lighting. And it is where your light comes from. So the most cinematic look has a light coming from the back because you want to separate your character from the background. And if you can light them from the back, that's going to give them like an outline using the lighting. And it's gonna be like a natural outline because it's using the light from the scenario, from the setting. So I'm going to create a sort of circle around my character using lights to brighten the outside details of my character. And I'm going to lower the bloom a bit. And now let me open my lighting angle sheet <laughs> so I can explain all the lighting angles. So the most common lighting angle you're gonna see is having, so right now the whole character's face is in shadow. The entire character is only lit from the back. I'm going to introduce another, another light and this is gonna be our key light. It's gonna be the main light for our character. Now most, most scenes have the light coming from, from the side and have the shadow face the camera. So right now we are facing the shadow side and the light is coming from um, the back. Uh, you, rarely you'll see the light coming from the same side as the camera. Uh, for some reason, I can't explain to you why, but it's more cinematic to have the camera be opposite to the key light. So you want the shadow to face the camera. And depending on how you angle this light you can get a different feel so similarly to how you frame your camera um framing the putting the light from below will give it a more sinister more uh more scheming look placing the light uh leveled is pretty normal doesn't do much and placing the light from above gives it a sort of, 
how do I explain? Uh, it, it has a. It, it it's kind of I can't think of a feeling to describe it. It's kind of normal too. So neutral lighting, like leveled lighting, is pretty normal. Lighting from above, kind pretty normal. Lighting from below, sinister, evil. Um, very rarely will you have the light face the character directly because having the light be in front of your character gives your character no shadows at all on their face. And that makes, their ca uh, that makes your character look very flat and that is what you don't want to do. Compared to having your light come from the side, you'll have two planes on your character. You'll have the shadow plane the front plane and it'll make it look more 3d so you do not want to put the light in front of the character you want the light from the side looks like he's getting run over okay uh what else hmm. i think i i think i already talked about all i really needed to talk about when it comes to lighting and that's 30 minutes Awesome. Uh, I think I'm gonna go play video game now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna play. Hmm. I'm, I'm honestly just so bored right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Last stream, I played Pokemon, so I think I'm gonna continue that. Looks like there's a car speeding at him at 120 miles per hour. Is my Roblox broken? I'm pressing the play button and it's not, it's not, okay. That's fun. Maybe, uh, let me, let me change this to game capture. My, my Roblox isn't working. I wanted to play video games today. Oh, is it just with that game or, or is it just not working overall? My Roblox just isn't working. Oh, uh, hmm. That's unfortunate. What is the doc? Why are you saying doc jump scare? Hmm. Well, that's really unfortunate. I wonder how laggy it would be if I were to stream Pal World. I've been I've been playing a lot of Pal World recently. Pal World is very fun. I wanted to stream Pokemon. I wanted to stream Pokemon Brick Bronze, but it's not it's not working. Okay. Close this. <laughs> oh, I, okay. I switched the game capture and it was just my avatar. Okay. Uh. Play Ultra Kill? Maybe. How much does Ultra Kill cost right now? Is there a sale going on? Ultra Kill Steam. Save 25% on Ultra Kill. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll play Ultra Kill. You know what? Sure. Give me a sec to whip out my credit card and buy Ultra Kill. Okay. Give me a minute, guys. Hmm. Store. <laughs> I've been wanting to play Ultra Kill recently. Jesus. Okay, that was loud. I've been wanting to play Ultra Kill recently, but never really got to it. Okay. Doc Kill. Ultra 7090. Okay. Uh, continue to payment. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to download it. Will it take long to download? Is it a big game? Oh, hey, Rust. You're still in stream. <laughs> I 
Okay. Uh... Putting in my... Mm. It's decently small. Okay. Ethel will ultra kill me. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> There you go. And I have I have officially purchased Ultra Kill. Uh, I have to agree to the Steam terms. Install content. It's okay. It's basically two gigabytes. It's fine. It's all right. Okay. And now we wait. <laughs> Or ultra kill. Um, <laughs> I want to learn how to stream my like switch or phone so I can like play Pokemon Unite on stream. I think that'd be fun. Uh, I don't know how to like s do that though. I'm super like n out of the loop when it comes to uh, tech stuff. I bet V1 can solo drown gods. Probably. Is it just me? There's no footage. Oh yeah, there's no footage because I didn't want to uh, stream myself putting in my debit card information. <laughs> <laughs> I might need an emulator. Uh, playing playing Pokemon Unite on an emulator kind of sucks. <laughs> like, cause. They need to they need to release a Pokemon Unite for PC. That would be so fun. I, I don't know why they haven't done it yet, but they need to. Cuz I don't want to play I don't want to play League of Legends. I don't want to play League of Legends. I don't want to play whatever other MOBAs there are besides League of Legends. <laughs> Roblox animator accidentally leaks bank information on stream. <laughs> yeah. That's, I, I really don't want to do that. <laughs> so, uh, I'm 70% done downloading, so it's almost, almost ready. I'm almost ready to ultra kill. I'm almost ready to Omega Homicide. The super murder. Is ultra kill a hard game? Like, do I have to be good at video games to play ultra kill? Because... I'm a pretty casual gamer. And like the only shooter I've played is like Phantom Forces. I've played a little bit of Valorant, but like <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> okay, I think it's done. Ultra Kill is ready to play. It depends. Okay. If you play on harmless or lenient, blue like. If you play on standard. Okay, let me enable game capture, ultra kill. Boot up sequence, ready. Firmware, latest version, calibration. If you play on brutal, okay. So, so what, what mode should I play on? What, what should I play on? Yeah, yeah, we're talking about Ultra Kill. Why is it making me do audio calibration? I can't even hear anything yet. No, cancel. Wait, what? On. I can hear things now. Oh! Okay. Play on Violent? Violent doesn't sound... Violent doesn't sound <laughs> Okay This sounds fine Video Error What? Do I pixelated or PC? 
Why would I want to play on pixelated? Trust me, Doc. Your credit score will go up. <laughs> Why would I want to play on pixelated? It... Rough warping? I do see a lot of pixelated, like, ultra kill clips. But I don't know if that's because they picked pixelated or if their recordings just suck. PC? Okay. I'll, I'll trust you. Oh, it's for people with bad PC. Okay. Okay, so... We go harmless. Absurdly slow enemies and attacks. Damage is still high, but even a mounted could dodge them. Lenient. High damage, but slower attack. And passive enemies. Tension is still high, but, avoid da but damage is easier to avoid. Recommended for players who want a less strict gameplay experience. Standard. Normal enemies and high damage. Attacks are easy to avoid, but carelessness will result in a swift death. Recommended for first-time players. Violent. Fast and aggressive enemies and high damage. Quick thinking, mobility options, and situational awareness are essential. That doesn't sound like me. And brutal. <laughs> Extremely aggressive enemies and high damage. A full arsenal and extensive knowledge of the game are expected. Yeah, I think we'll play standard. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm ready for violent. <laughs> Okay. I'm ready to ultra kill. I'm going to kill ultra. We're approaching hell. And our current objective is to find a weapon. Mankind is dead. Blood is fuel. And hell is full. <laughs> okay. Uh... Jeez, the sensitivity is super high in this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Options. Uh, screen shake. Okay, I don't... Uh, I can't see. Press F to punch. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this is so... The sensitivity on this is so high. Plus... Uh, uh. Hold, hold left control to slide. Okay. Oh, press left shift to dash. Consume stamina. Can be performed in error. Okay. Deal close rate damage to dose yourself in fresh blood. This is the only way to regain health. Okay. Jump while near a wall to wall jump. Max three times. I can, I, I'm pretty sure I could lower sensitivity. I just, okay, controls, oh, there it is. Mm, that's fine. Press left control in air to ground slam. Hold for shockwave. Okay. That's a little loud. <laughs> uh. Am I supposed to be here? Oh. Okay. Most levels have secret soul orbs. Touch them to get point bonus. Okay. I lower this a bit again. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to ultra kill my enemies. New Blood Presents. <laughs> the blue orb. <laughs> Shut up. Oh! I have a gun! Okay. How am I supposed to aim? Like, there's, okay. Into the fire.
Okay. Is there, an, is there ammo? Jesus. <laughs> the K orb. <laughs> yeah. Where am I? Hold RMB to charge a piercing shot. Okay. Jesus. Okay. There's infinite ammo? Okay. Uh, that's good to know. I'm just gonna- Oh! Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold this. Oh, my aim is so trash. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. This is a lot. <laughs> Punch a projectile with precise timing to deflect it. Okay. It's like deep woken. It's like deep woken. Taking damage temporarily reduces your maximum HP. Hard damage recovers faster when playing stylishly. Do I have to do like kickflips or something? Oh yeah, wall jump. Okay. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> I, I did a fairy. <laughs> Ground slam deals direct damage deals damage on direct hit. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> oh. Uh <sighs> Okay. <laughs> It's, why isn't it doing damage? Oh, direct hit. Okay. Charge shot pierces through enemies. Oh, I thought it was like an explosion. I thought that that's it's the K orb. How do I? Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. Uh. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Malicious Jesus Christ. I just got in Okay Am I supposed to parry this Okay, I I didn't parry that I played enough deep oaken, I can parry check. Okay, I died like three times. <laughs> That's fine. B. An S. A. All right. There were five secrets in there? Okay. Are the secrets important? Should I like look out for secrets more? If you want to parry the laser, you have to punch the face as it flashes yellow. Okay. Use your points at the shop at the start of each level for new equipment. Tip of the day. The revolver deals locational damage. 
a headshot deals two times damage and a limb shot deals 1.5 damage. I don't know if I can land headshots, <laughs> so I guess I won't be using the revolver. Uh, weapon. Ooh, marksman. Marksman, press alt fire to throw a coin. Hit an airborne coin to deflect your shot into the nearest enemy's weak point. They aren't important, so don't mind it. Okay. I'll... Coins can be chained. Okay. Ha Cycle through equip variations with E. Okay, what's alt fire? Oh, it's right click. Also, Doc, if you want to play multiplayer ultra kill, there's multiplayer ultra kill? Prelude, second, the meat grinder. Okay. Oh. That, that is indeed a meat grinder. Okay. I'm losing HP. It's so dark in here. Oh, it's a mod. Try shooting the coin? Okay. God. I'm gonna just punch these guys. <laughs> Who needs a gun when you can just punch the dudes? It's a mod, basically. Okay. Ultra kill mo That's fun. <laughs> okay. How do I sh- Okay. Shoot the coin. Okay. Oh! Okay. Such a king. Come on. Oh. I don't want to run into that. What? Why a gun when you can punch? <laughs> Strong right. Exactly. I love punching my enemies instead of using my gun. What the fuck? Okay. Which, which way do I go? Okay. What? Have I been here? Which way did I go through? Okay, so I went through here. That dude have a sword? Okay. Die. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I have to punch people to heal, right? I have to bathe in the blood of my enemies. Okay. Uh. That's the sword machine. You'll love him. He'll give you a hug. Sounds fun. Okay. Huh. Oh, I just have to damage them when close by? Okay. Challenge, beat the secret encounter. All right. 
So I just have to be close to them when I kill them, and I'll heal. What does shooting the coin do? What's the point of it? Sharpshooter. Hold alt fire to charge a piercing beam that ricochets off surfaces. Are there more guns? Ooh, I can customize. I need... Oh! So the secrets are for... For, like, customization. Okay. Damn! A million points! For... For putting colors on my guns? Okay, man. Double down on it. Bitch. Okay. Where do I go? Did I come through here? Yeah, I came through here. Okay, I'm done. You have 400 million points? Jesus! <laughs> Why do you have so many points? Okay, here we go. Bitch! I like punching the guys. Okay, I want to try shooting the the bullet. Oh, it's like a it's like a auto aim. That, that seems. I I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> oh, so I have to like aim the parry too. You have over five hundred hours. What what is wrong with you? <laughs> the number one ultra kill fan. There's a door here. Oh! It's the sword guy! The sword machine! God! Bitch! Ah! Okay. I'm switching back to this gun. It's way cooler. <laughs> Are you dead? No. A shotgun! Okay. If you shoot the coin just at the right time, you'll be able to swing into two. Shoot the coin when you have enemies around and you'll find out. Okay. Press R and B to fire an explosive. I don't think that's how a shotgun works. It's more like a rocket launcher. <laughs> I can break these things. The K gun. Would is it cause it's is it cause it's blue? <laughs> okay. What where do I go now? Here? No, this is where I came from. Where do I go? Was this, oh, was this like an optional boss fight? Okay. How do I switch my, how do I switch guns? Oh! Oh, so I cycle through the things and I go through the variants by pressing E. Wait, go back? Okay. Wait, okay, wait. Oh wait, here. Okay, go up the stairs. Oh, 
okay. So so that was like a, a a little side quest to get a TM. Well that <laughs> That makes things all okay, I wanna try out the coin thing. Okay, wait a sec. Coin. Yeah, so it's like a auto. Yeah, I, I. I'm sorry about the stream delay. I have no idea how to fix it. I'm dumb with it. Damn, the coin just seems to be like an auto aim for like single enemies, which is cool, I guess. But like, I don't have the. I don't have the. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to aim at the coin mid battle. <laughs> What's the point of shooting the coin when I can just shoot them? Can I go down here? Use a shotgun. I'll shoot the coin at the right time. That's one, two. I I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of things you can do with the coins, and if you have multiple coins at once it increases the damage okay so, well okay oh okay that's fun what huh S good night solely okay I re uh. Come here. Please don't crush me. Okay. Hello. Oh, I don't have to hold it. I can just use it as a normal shotgun. <laughs> okay. No, I'll, I'll just use it like an... That did not kill it at all. <laughs> the sword machine again? Okay, damn! Okay, I'm moving too much. I need to... What the fuck? Okay. Heal. Uh, okay. I'm gonna charge this up before. Where is it? Okay. Is there like a... What was the move? Oh yeah, shift to dash. Okay. Okay. Okay, Jesus. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use the shotgun. I need a uh, mind streaming in Discord so there's no funny delay. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll hop into Discord. Yeah. There's only four people on stream right now, so we we should be safe to stream on Discord. It's my laptop. It's not. <laughs> It, my laptop is the reason it's breathing so much. Okay, I'll, I'll end stream right now and we'll go to Doc7090 Discord.